Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Matthew said, uh, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the work that we did on drape netting and the influence it has on spray application and disease control. So in 2019, myself, Philip and Becker, we did a pilot study specifically on a drape netted orchard um, to investigate the influence that conventional and progressive spray application methodologies have on um, on spray deposition parameters, and we found that um, both of uh, the methodologies reduced application or deposition parameters by around 50%, and specifically also reduced canopy penetration, getting your fungicides into the canopy. And this can lead to, this poorer deposition can, parameters can lead to an influence in disease control, specifically under high disease pressure situations. For that specific reason, We, in 2021 and 2022, we went out and investigated the influence that drape netting again has on spray deposition parameters, quantity, quality, and uniformity, and also on disease control using apple scab as a model pathogen. And we did these studies specifically in the lung kloof to make sure that we've got some fusi. Um, <laughs> we did the study um, in 2021 in a 4.5 meter gala orchard using a conventional spray application strategy, specifically using low profile spray applicators at slower speeds and higher air volumes and higher um, spray volumes. And in 2022 in a Fuji 4 meter using more progressive application methodologies with high profile spray applicators, lower spray volumes, faster spraying speeds and lower air volumes. Um, each of these orchards had permanently undraped sections throughout the season, um, three sections each of around 10 to 20 trees to keep, if we had a lot of fuse to keep the damage to a minimum. Uh, we did our spray deposition assessments in December using fluorometry and digital image analysis. And at harvest, uh, we did our apple scab rating specifically on apples using 25 data fruit per tree. And we had four data trees on each of these reps with three reps in replicate. These specific ratings that we did on the apples, we, we um, determined if there was infection or not, and specifically also looked at the, the number of lesions per fruit and also the size of each of the lesions. So looking at the deposition data, what we found was on the left-hand side, uh, the bar indicates the deposition quantity, and we're just going to talk about deposition quantity today. And on the bottom of the graph, the inside and the outside um, deposition that was realized. In all of the cases, specifically in 2021, using the conventional applications, we found um, higher deposition quantities on the undraped sections in and around between 24.9 um, and 22.8 percent higher than the drape netted sections. And this was also realized on the top, middle and bottom of canopies. Um, due to a very high minimum significant difference of 3% FPC, um, there was no statistical differences between the applications actually. But as you can see um, in the undrape sections, the deposition realized was quite higher in the undrape sections than in the drape sections. What we found in terms of the first season um, infection on fruit, we found higher infection rates in the drape sections of fruit and also a higher number of lesions on these fruits. But again, there was no statistical difference specifically in these infection values. What was interesting was myself and Philip, we did a leaf analysis to see what the infection percentages were on leaves. And we found that uh, again, in, in the drape sections, in relation to the undraped sections that we had a much higher leaf infection ratio in those drape sections. Um, this is not a good thing since um, this will definitely give you a higher potential ascospore dose carrying over to the next season, specifically under the drape sections that has um, better environmental conditions for disease development. In 2022, using the more progressive spray application methodology, we found much higher deposition quantities using these progressive spray applicators under the undrape sections, but similar to the 2021 data on the drape sections. The differences here was that because of these higher deposition quantities on the undrape sections, that the differences were significant, specifically on the inside of the canopies and the outside of the canopies and the top, middle and bottom of the canopies. So in conclusion, up to date, specifically for the study, we found that the deposition quantity realized on these drape netted trees was similar in 2021 and 2022, specifically on the drape sections, irrespective of the type of applications done. Um, the lower deposition quantities was always realized on the drape sections, 
with the conventional tree, with conventional spray applications being statistically similar, but the more modern um, progressive application systems being higher on the underripe sections. We didn't find any statistical difference in terms of their position that was significant, but uh, there was definite differences between underripe and ripe sections. Um, this also didn't realize differences in, in disease incidence, but the data does suggest that um, with that increase in infection that you will definitely have a higher potential ascospore dose for the next season that is carrying over with these favorable environmental conditions under the ripe netted trees. Thank you very much.